Do I want to speak? Yeah. <laughs> You're the narrator. The narrator. Hello! <laughs> Good morning everybody. It is oh, quarter to nine on a Sunday morning. And like a toddler, this one has had me up since about half past six this morning. I feel I'm gonna need a lot of coffee today. Well, are we off? Yeah. <laughs> this is the worst video ever. We could do like a one, two, three. We're going! Right, okay. Okay. One. Well, we need to turn it around so they can see us. Turn it around the other way like that. That's it. There we go. Right. So, one, two, two three. We're, We're going! going. <laughs> that good? Is that what you wanted? <laughs> it's proper cheesy. How cheesy was that? Jesus. Oh dear. Right, so I will give you uh, a lowdown as Charlotte's obviously not going to. Let them see you or. Yeah. There you go. We're uh, currently on the M62 heading towards Hull. We're going to get no, the ferry. No, we're on the M1 heading towards the M62. Fine. <laughs> we're going to Hull. Uh, we're going to get the boat to the Brugger. Uh, Charlotte's driving as you can see. Hello. I've got both hands on the wheel. I don't know if you can see him. We've got. Stanley in the back there. There you go. So yeah, got uh, we should get there. It's half two now. We should get there at half past three. So we'll uh, check back in when check. we get on the boat. Yeah, we'll get back to you when we get on the boat. We're excited! Oh shit, I'm turning left soon. Right. Just turning left soon. Gotta go. About your trip, Thomas. Yes. 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 I'm glad it's all done now, and that we're on the way. Everything's packed up. House mm -hmm. is uh, in secure hands. True. Uh, Stanley's happy-ish. <laughs> Sat at the dock waiting now. By the way, um, they said that they're going to load us in about five minutes, but we shall see. I don't even know if I'm on on screen here. Loved. Don't matter, does it? Yeah, get on board, get his uh, ibs nibs stored away, get to his cabin, dump his bags and we'll go for a bit of a wander. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking... I really hope the kennel's not on the top like it was on that one that <laughs> you went with your mum and dad. I can't be asked carrying him up like seven flights of stairs. It's a heavy cage. He's a heavy cat. This coffee still tastes very liquid. Yes. Massive liquor. Yes. I can't understand. I washed it, but just drink it from the spout. <clears throat> no, I want to look at it. It's gonna look like coffee. <laughs> it might not it's gonna do. look like fucking fairy liquid, is it? <laughs> Bubbles in it like fairy liquid. No, it don't. It looks like it looks like coffee. Our 
cabin and we thought we'd do a little room tour for you. So, <laughs> and it will be a little room tour because it's a tiny cabin. So, this is the front door. There's a little, little table where I can put on loads of makeup. Yeah, right. There's Thomas. Hi. <laughs> Tom's not very happy basically because when we went over on the boat from Portsmouth to Santander with his parents last year, we got a cabin with beds next to each other. And now, he's if in a I fall bunk. out of this fucker, I'm not gonna be impressed. <laughs> You're not gonna fall out, I've told you. We can get you a safety rail from reception. Do you want a safety rail? No. No? I want a beer. Yeah. We're gonna go get a beer now. Um, just quickly show you. It's our little window with a big boat. And then, this is where I'll be sleeping. Okay. I don't need more beds. Right. Is it beer time? Yes. Morning. Yeah, that about sums it up. <laughs> so we both slept terribly last night. We had bunk beds. Um, luckily I got the bottom bunk, Tom got the top bunk. Um, <laughs> and neither of us slept very well, which meant that we woke up at... 7 o'clock England time, 8 o'clock. <sighs> no, it was later than that. No, you woke up I at woke 8. Up at seven. Tom woke up at 7 o'clock England time but obviously there'd been a time change, so we lost an hour. So it actually moved forward to eight o'clock. And so Tom was like, all right, okay, I'll get up and I'll get ready. Didn't realize it was eight o'clock when he got up. So he got up, started getting ready, and then woke me up and I was like, what time is it? And it was like 25 past eight. Bearing in mind that we were disembarking at quarter to nine. I was like, shit. We've like slept through breakfast. We've slept through everything that we wanted to. So Tom had to nip out for a quick starbs. <laughs> um, um, I literally, like, the reason I still look like absolute shit is because I haven't had time for a shower. I've brushed my teeth and I've put some Batiste in my hair and that's gonna have to do it for today. <laughs> There's just no time for anything, was there? So um, we've got Stanley back, although he's not happy. I don't know if you, oh, it's too dark at the moment. It's too dark, so still actually sat on the ferry just waiting to, um, disembark at the moment, but we'll show you him at some point. But he's not—he's not a happy cat. He's not happy at all. He's, uh, we walked into the little room and he was just shivering in his cage. So we got him uh, got him into his own cage quite quickly. Um, he took a massive chunk out of my back, which I'll show you at some point, because he was just panicking. So I don't, I don't hold it against him. Um, but he wasn't wasn't great, was he? He wants so, to have a Right, so we'll get on the road and we'll check back in when we feel and look a bit more normal. <laughs> Do you want to give a uh, status report, Charlotte? Yep. I can't, I'm driving. I've got to drive sensibly, so I'm not allowed to give an update report. Right, I'll give it. <laughs> so we are currently 44 kilometres outside of St Quentin. Is that a prison? Or is it a prison yeah, in America? It's a prison in California. Oh, right, okay. Still a fair way to go. Just had a baguette. <laughs> Getting involved in local French culture. Uh, and then we've got some other French delicacies. 
as you can see. Uh, Pussycat's still alive and well. He's just had some water, force fed him. Yeah, uh, he squirt the bottle in his mouth, didn't he? So, yeah, I'll, uh, if we see anything interesting, there's not a right lot to see in the French countryside. It's very flat and boring. So, uh, if you see anything, I'll try and catch it on film. And we'll give you another update when anything interesting happens. <laughs>
there's basically um, the lorry in front of us just nearly ran into the back end of um, like a transit van um, but Tom was just saying that it looked like the transit van pulled like across a couple of lanes of traffic this car does not accelerate well in uh, 6 gear at the moment it's because it's got her entire life in the back of the car where's the pussycat? Stanley! Not a happy puss. Mm. They're all right. To be fair, you look pretty chilled now. Finally, smells. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, turn around really quickly. Because we actually have some scenery. Cows. Cows. Look at that. Stanley. Um, we might bring all the stuff up from the garage because it's all due. We all due. We just shoved everything in there for now, but I think we'll bring it up before we go to bed. And yeah, probably check back in in the morning. I might, I might film a little bit, a little bit later on, but we'll see. Just kind of chill out for now and see. Yeah, see how we feel. Are you okay? Bonjour. 